Hello everyone, welcome back to the ZL YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's video, I thought I would just bring to you a simple two ways of wearing one of our ZL clipping ponytails. If you don't know, we stock wigs and hair pieces, and some of those hair pieces include our luxurious clipping ponytails. We currently stock two different styles of ponytails, but today I'm gonna be focusing on the high profile 24 inch ponytail. They are made from vegan silk fiber, so they are synthetic, but they are very, very realistic. They are not shiny, they do not look fake at all, and I absolutely love enhancing my hairstyle with these. So for me personally, I do have fairly short fine hair. I put my hair in a little bun quite a lot which I have now but I'm going to take it out and show you guys two ways that I would wear the high profile pony. So I'm just going to brush my hairstyle out. So this is the length of my natural hair and if I was to put that in a ponytail it's a little bit pathetic, but that is where ZL comes and saves the day. There are so many ways that you could wear one of these ponytails. It's completely up to you how you like to style your own hair. For me personally, I do like to wear it on top of my head for a more kind of like high pony look. But I'm also going to show you something that could be a little bit more comfortable and maybe slightly easier to do for some. And that is to wear it at the back of your head. You could totally accessorize the ponytails however you want with hair scarves, little like beads and clips or jewels. And what I find works best, especially if I want a slightly more slicked back look, is using some kind of hair gel or pomade and hairspray. I also find like a bristled brush like one of these or the thin rat tail type combs really help to slick your hair back too. So for the first look, I want to keep two little bits down at the front. So I'm just gonna separate those. And what I'm gonna do is just use the bristle brush to smooth back my hair. I already have a little bit of pomade in my hair from where I'd styled it before, but this is when I would go in with a little bit just to start smoothing down any flyaways to get it all really sleek. So personally, I like to keep my parting in the middle, but you could totally scrape your hair all the way back if that's how you prefer it. Once I've got all the hair as tight as I want it, I'm just going to secure it in a ponytail first. So I've secured my hair in a ponytail, but the way that these clipping ponytails work best is when you pop your hair in a bun, because this is the inside where you have two little clips and a drawstring. So that will cinch it around your bun, making it really, really like invisible. You won't see any hair sticking out that won't blend. It's all hidden under the ponytail. So now I'm just gonna take another bobble and tighten that, twist my hair all the way around into a tight little bun and secure it there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just hairspray down any bits that might be sticking out. So now is where you just wanna give your ponytail a little bit of a brush just so you've not got any knots and tangles. So I'm gonna use the top of the first clip to slide it into the top of the bun. You've got a bottom clip to pop it under, pull this drawstring really tight. Slide that clip in and then tighten with the drawstring. And there you have the lower ponytail. So I feel like this definitely enhances the look. You can go in and secure it with some little bobby pins if you feel like you need it. You could use a piece of the hair, separate it and wrap it around if you want to kind of hide where it sits in, but I feel like these are so natural looking that you don't need to do that. You could definitely go and accessorize this, put some plaits in it, um, some little like beads through the hair, however you wanna style it up. But this is kind of like a basis of one way I would wear it. Moving on to the next way I would wear the ponytail. Take my hair back out of that. And this time I'm gonna scrape it all back and slightly further to the top of my head, but I still want to keep that front part in there. And then again, I've got my bobble and I'm going in with the other bristle brush to start to smooth it all back. So I feel like that's where I want mine to sit. I'm gonna go in with my other bobble, twist it around to make it a bun. And then again, I'm gonna go in and hairspray. And then taking our ponytail again and repeating the same thing.
hole from underneath. It can be a tiny bit fiddly, but once you've got it, here we go. I might take like a bit of hair from underneath. And then you can start to wrap that around the top. Just to conceal that little bit there. I love this hairstyle. Like my hair would never look like this on its own. And the beauty of these ponytails, it's so easy to put them in and out really, really quick. And they look amazing. So yeah, that is the second way that I would wear the high profile 24 inch ponytail. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope this was useful if you've recently got your ZL ponytail and you're unsure on the best way to wear it, or you've just stumbled across us and you want fabulous hair like me. The link to the website and the link to these ponytails will be in the description. Make sure you go and check it out. Give this video a like if you did enjoy and subscribe if you're not already. And we will see you in the next video. Bye. Oh,